offer educational courses to help you elevate your knowledge and expand your skill set. With over 250 speakers, 900 courses, and a staggering 3,500 hours of continuing education, we are committed to providing you with the best educational experience possible. Today's webinar is Clinical Success for Treating COVID Vaccine Side Effects with Chinese Herbs with Dr. Jimmy Chang. End class will be from 2 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. To ensure an interactive session, please set your chat preference to everyone. And if you have any questions for our instructor, please type them into the Q&A box. Dr. Chang is a renowned expert with over 40 years of clinical experience treating more than 500,000 patients. He will delve into pulse diagnosis and herbal prescription, focusing on his unique herbal combination. Dr. Chang has been exclusively supplied by Evergreen Herbs for an impressed 25 years making them the perfect partner for his clinical practice and research. We are honored to have Evergreen Herbs as our sponsor for this webinar, given their commitment to quality and service. Dr. Chang has previously taught courses for us, which are now available as distant learning CEU videos. Elevate your pulse diagnosis and herbal skills with our go-to expert. Consider the Gold Pass membership for unlimited access for to his con to his foundational pulse and herb courses prior to 2020. The Gold Pass with an exclusive herb voucher from our sponsor, Evergreen Herbs, allows you to experience these herbs firsthand, a great opportunity for serious herbalists. All right, let's begin today's class with a brief overview of Dr. Chang's unique herbal approach. Now, if you're a seasoned student, please take a moment to review, or you can go ahead and grab a five minute break as this part will be a refresher for you. Dr. Chang's herbal style diverges from traditional methods, exclusively utilizing extract powders from evergreen herbs, offering around 300 single herbs and 100 formulas. Dr. Chang's pharmacy boasts approximately 150 single herbs and formulas combined. For more details, you can find your, a YouTube video linked in your lecture notes. And for those interested in starting a similar pharmacy, Evergreen Herbs is offering a 15% webinar discount on the essentials. Find the link in the chat room or refer to your lecture notes for details. Formal evolution is at the core of Dr. Chang's practice. Creating his own formulations with names reflecting their purpose, Dr. Chang adapts them over time based on patient experiences, marking updated versions with 2.0. Part of the idea of formal evolution is feng jia feng, or formula plus formula, in which Dr. Chang combines various single herbs or formulas to enhance their effect their effects. Evergreen's extract formulas are decocted and extracted together rather than just combining individual herbs. For a more detailed explanation of this, Dr. John Chen does have a video explaining the concept in more detail, and you can find that link in your notes. As for dosage, Dr. Chang's herbal prescriptions are usually provided in 100 gram bottles with a recommended intake of three spoons two to three times per day. To interpret Dr. Chang's prescription, he usually has the number followed after the herbs to signify the percentage. For example, in Sleep Combo 2.0, San Zhou Ren Tang is at 40%, then he writes Yi Jia Tang He Huan Ping to Tong Yin, and then 20% at the end of that. So what does this mean? It means that each single herb is at 20%. And so what do you think um, to Tong Yin, how many grams would that be if it's a 100 gram bottle? Go ahead and write that into the chat room. All right, so if you got 20 grams, then you are right. Congratulations. For those inclined to mix their own bottles, it's definitely an option. While some formulas like Astringent Complex and Circulation Sanjiao are pre-mixed in Evergreen's collection line, many of the new ones aren't yet and because Dr. Chang is customizing. But feel free to make your own blends or use Dr. Chang's formulas as a base. All right, so this concludes my short introduction. So let's go ahead and welcome Dr. Chang to start the class. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Can, Can you hear me now? now? Oh. 
Vamos? What? Okay, guys, this is Jimmy Chen again. Today I'm going to talk about something. Come on. Clinic, clinical success for treating COVID vaccine side effect with Chinese herbs. I'm sorry I'm wearing a mask. There's a reason for that. But I'm not infected. I'm not sick. I'm not catching cold or something. Just for fun. Anyway, today's topic is a little bit complicated. So it will be three hours of time. And we're not only treating COVID side effects. And not only the vaccine side effect. Which we are treating both side effects from the COVID infected and from the vaccine which is very popular around those days. And I was seeing a lot of people with that complaints. And uh, anyway, you have a good time today. What? No question? So today's class, what Dr. Chang is saying is he'll go over the most common side effects and then of uh, the vaccine and then open for questions for you guys to ask. And then at the end, a bonus section on long COVID. Um, what he found in his clinic, uh, the, most of the patients with the long COVID symptom, he'll go over one or two of them. So the first question for Dr. Chang before we even start is this question. Do you notice any difference in pulse diagnosis when you're treating vaccine side effects, symptoms? Meaning if a patient has mm, any kind of heart issue due to the vaccine or not due to the vaccine, is the pulse the same? You're asking me? Yes. No, I cannot tell the difference between if the patient has affected or has this with the present condition was from the vaccine side effect or not. I cannot tell the difference. So I just treat them according to my findings and uh, just the same thing. It doesn't matter. Well, I don't care if they have COVID, had COVID, or they had the side effect from vaccine. I just, just judge it by myself. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Let's begin today's class. And if you have any questions, would you please type, please type it into the Q and A section. So then, when it's time for that, Dr. Chen will go into that window and then read off. I'll read off the questions, or he'll read off the questions, and then he will answer. Okay, because there are many, many different um, injuries and side effects. We are going to cover just the most common ones. Okay. Okay. This is both. But today, I will be introducing some kind of a system but that will be a lot of it easier for making judgment about the patient's condition by a simple drill. This is called a principal diagnosis from the blood pressure. This is very important and very easy to make differential diagnosis so you can make a better decision when choosing the herbs or formulas to treat this patient according to their body conditions, not just by the symptoms. As you have learned a lot of time from me, you know that I do not follow the symptoms blindly. I verify them and verify the other condition by my own system and we deal with it. Not just simply like the old textbooks say you follow the symptoms uh, and make the differential diagnosis. That's totally useless. How do we do that with our system, that's easy. There are four different categories of our blood pressure differential diagnosis. First, if both systolic and diastolic are high and heart rate is fast, for example, 165, 90, or 95, it indicates the constitutional characterized by excessive internal heat, fire, or anything that's a solid. So no matter what, for example, the patient like this will always say, I'm so tired. So no matter what, you cannot give this patient any time, anything to tonify his energy, like Sichuan Da Bu, Hu Zhong Yi Qi Tang is totally forbidden. Even when experiencing fatigue is not recommended to take tonics. I was seeing a patient right today, uh, earlier today. I took I took her pulse and she so 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 much fires. I said, No, no ginger. He said, oh, I'm drinking ginger soup every day. I said, no, uh, turmeric. He said, I take turmeric 
capsules. I said, no ginseng. She, she said, I take ginseng, uh, Korean ginseng, and uh, durian. 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 That, that oriental, uh, uh, Asian oriental Malaysia food, uh, fruit, like, oh, what do you call it? Durian. 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 That's very, very hot. So that lady was taking some other oil and some of the spicy stuff. That lady was taking so much hot stuff into her body. So how, how can he be healthy? So I tell him to stop. Tell her to stop everything. Ah. So the fire, there's a reason you have to check and verify with your patient. Second category is the both systolic and diastolic are high. But the heart rate drill is low. For example, 65 or something. It suggests blood circulation blockage and higher blood viscosity. In my pulse system, the Huan Mai, scattered pulse, scattered and with no amplitude, very like a dead fish. This kind of pulse with a high blood, uh, like a blood pressure, then that means blood stagnation. So in this case, taking tonic is not recommended. And exercise should be done to promote blood circulation. And if the patient asking you to treat something, something, some of discomfort in this patient's body, then you should use some blood movers to help them with the blood pressure and all the discomfort. This is the uh, very good way of making a differential diagnosis without, or you can say before you take the pulse. So I suggest you strongly you have the patient's blood pressure taken before he enter your room. I hope everybody has a table for making diagnosis. I've been to several uh, acupuncturist office. They don't even have a table for, for making diagnosis. Just go to the uh, tre treatment, do treatment room and go to the bed and start using needles because they don't know how to take the pulse. They don't even take the blood pressure. That's very dangerous. Okay, suppose there's a person sitting in front of you and saying, oh, he has been having nausea, body ache, neck and shoulder pain, chest congestion. What should you do? This is opposite to the things I just mentioned. The patient directly tells you that he had had this problem for a while. You're very lucky, so you don't have to guess around. Uh, okay, nausea, body ache. Okay, let me take your pulse. And uh, of course, before that, you should have his uh, a blood pressure taken by your nurse or whatever. That gives you a better general idea what condition you're facing by the previous mentioned uh, those four categories. Huh? So simple, take a blood pressure. What's so big deal about that? Uh, this is, and what's the ear? This is the hip, this is the neck and shoulder. This is a bump in the stomach, see? So what are you gonna do with the bump in the stomach? It could be some high to hernia. And uh, maybe something, a uh, patient had an operation of uh, the stomach or whatever, block in the uh, human. Uh, human, pylori. Oh, pylori. Pylori. Anyway, so what medicine, what herb would you be using uh, with this? Fan That should help. And what about the hip, the back pain? What would you do with the back pain? You can you can see the color of the back pain. So what's the color? Brownish. And you that last time you should use Sen Tong Zhu Yu Tang. And what about the neck and shoulder? Let me give you a very interesting hint. For the neck and shoulder, the gun tongue will be very effective. It works in a day or two. Just gun tongue, huh? Okay. So, that this patient is suffering from so much nausea, body ache, and something like that. Just take the pause and make a general diagnosis and make a general decision to use what kind of a. Uh, herbs.
Okay, let's get on to the business today. Treating side effects from COVID-19. There's a lot of uh, a soreness of the, the, the arm and shoulder. There was this mind, um, mild fever, tiredness, headaches, muscle pain, a joint pain. All of those things can happen even without having the, this COVID infection. But still, we have to take the pause to know the patient's body condition because if the if the patient having five or the same symptoms, but she's 45 years old and she's 80 years old and he's 25 years old, the treatment will be totally, not totally, but will be somehow different. So by looking at what kind of patient sitting in front of you, then you should have a general idea. Ooh, this lady is so skinny and anemic. No matter what, I cannot use too much blood movers, right? And this guy is macho, big, strong guy, construction worker. I have a lot of patients, <laughs> Chinese patients. They 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 will cut a uh, truck drivers. They they drive a uh, container truck across the country, <laughs> but they're strong. But still, they complaining about being tired and stuff. So that that you should be a little bit difficult for you to make in the proper decisions. So let's go down with it. The first one. Okay, the symptoms. First one, the side effects, myocarditis. Chest pain. Patient with myocarditis may experience discomfort from chest and chest, even due to the myocardial damage or inflammation. The pulse will be It's on the right swing. In my Pulsinogy <clears throat> system, the right hand side, and this is the left hand side. Right hand side, this is the lung, right? But there is a pulse now I can feel and even in the beginning of the pulse taking, that's the right swing. Right swing is the longer. Heart is here, the left swing. But for this myocarditis, the swing is the heart. It will show you something they call goo pulse. You remember my goo pulse? Mm, guys, up and down. Boom, 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 boom. Usually the pulse will only give you an upward jump. Boom, boom, boom. But it, it goes up and down when your heart is weak. There are two ways of creating that kind of pause for you to understand. First, after today's seminar, you you, you get up on of your chair and you run uh, several laps in your living room and sit down and take your pause. That's cool. Up and down, very clear, up and down. Secondly, you can drink six pack of a beer, then you have goo pause, up and down. But after a while, after running a while, the goo pulse should disappear. If it doesn't go away, that means your heart is in a big problem. What problem? The valve, not the uh, not the not, not, not the uh, coronary artery. It's the valve. The valve cannot close properly, so there's a regurgitation inside the heart, like a like here regurgitation. The, the valve doesn't close properly. So why the valve doesn't close properly? In some cases, from being weak, no power, the muscle also not. We cannot feel the muscle of the heart, but we can feel the muscle of the arm. So I sometimes I, I twist the like a patient's arm. So you look at that, it's so soft, like what? Like tofu. Your muscle is like tofu, soft and weak. So how can your heart be strong? You tell me. No exercise, no no nothing, no nutrition, refusing all the red meat. The muscle must be you can feel it. No, patients. Oh, you're so soft, like a like a tofu. So of course his his or her heart is weak. So the best way is Huang Qi. I have a combination called Bei uh, Wu Bei Wu Wei Zi Huang Qi Yi Bi Er. Huang Qi, 
I always say Bei Qi is the only, or the, you can say the best way for strengthening the power of the muscle. If you are, you know, muscle builder and working out and in the gym, you do not use all those those the strange medicine from the magazine or something. You can try a little Huang Qi as long as your blood pressure is not too high. Bei Qi. So for, oh, I'm talking about strengthening the power, the muscle of the things. But now the patient is suffering myocarditis, there could be some infection in the blood. And the blood can infect, can cause the infection of the liner, uh, the lining of the heart. So that can be fatal. So that's why we have a very good Chinese medicine that this, uh, our ancestor told us the best way to prevent your heart lining being uh, attack, attacked or infected by bacteria is the Ruxiang and Mo Yao. The, the medicine they brought to Jesus, baby Jesus in Christmas. So there's a good prop, good formula is called Zhen Ren Huo Ming Yi. The Ru Xiang Mo Yao is the protecting the heart from being infected and from being dangerously fatal. So myocarditis, the heartbeat rate will be fast, and the, the right the right turn will be Gu Lu. And according to my pulse synergy number one, system one. This is stomach, correct? The right one is stomach, but in my pulse energy number two, this is Shao Yin. Heart, 2.0. So this is the uh, heart, Shao Yin, and kidney. So if the, this place is uh, jumpy or something, or Gu, that's a heart problem. And put them all together, if the, the heartbeat rate is fast, doesn't matter what kind of blood pressure this patient is having, it's still infection, inflammation, might have a little fever and chest pain, myocardial damage or inflammation. So the best combination will be Zhen Ren Huo Ming Yan, and astringent. Yeah, uh, fifty percent each. So, this is my pulse synergy number two. This area become the heart, and heart and stomach, they are together at the same time, squeezing on the same chair. What does it mean? That means your stomach is don't eat too much. You push the heart upward, causing a lot of pressure in the chest too. And also here, this is the gallbladder and stomach. If this is supposed to like that, that means you eat too much and too fast and too greasy. Okay, that might be a, a sign for a heart attack, but actually it's not a heart attack. But this is the infection. Fast, fast means what? Maybe over one ten per minute, or even higher. So that means there's a fever and infection. Be careful. When the fever appears, the treatment will be different. We'll be talking about later today. Any questions so far? Whoa. I've got a lot of patient, a lot of people joining us today. So the, this this um myocarditis is very dangerous because the heart can be attacked, attacked, attacked by the bacteria. So the Sinzen Huo Ming Yin is a life saving formula. And help to get rid of the uh the 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 pus or, or fever too, okay. So, do you have any problem uh explaining how to take the herbs for your patients at your clinic? You have to do that. We we take three spoonful and three times a day. We'll be explaining it uh, at the end of today. Huh? Any questions? and fast.
and fever. Definitely will have a little fever. And the face will be hot and, and the, the blood pressure might go up too. And uh, now this is for the heart palpitation. The gu pulse can be felt on both chun positions, right and oh, left. Clearly, it's on the right chun. On the right chun, yeah. the lung. Yeah. Not the heart. Not on the, the heart. left. Why is that? Because of the chest. Is being ischemic. Okay, this one heart palpitation, no fever, no infection, or this is the afterward leading to palpitations such as rapid heartbeat, but blood pressure is low. So, this is the uh, actually, this should be the second stage. That depends how. Long this patient is suffering from the from this condition. Maybe, uh, of course, they, they have a chest pain and fever. They will definitely go to their family doctors and maybe refer to a specialist or whatever. After a couple of weeks of struggling, they still have this uncomfortable feeling. They will come to the uh, Chinese doctor. I have a a, a pilot from uh, where Michigan. Wisconsin. The only reason that that pilot in my office for is for how much? I don't know because the Western medicine cannot help him. If they take a medicine for allergy, they be, maybe they are drowsy when they fly an airplane. That's not a that's not a good thing. So, um, so you know they they come so many uh, after so many Western Western medicine taken and nothing helped them much. Finally, if they are lucky, they'll come to Chinese medicine. In this case, this regular, I mean, uh, the, the, uh, the urgent condition was over, no more fever, no more pain, or something, just weak and gu mai. And the blood pressure is low, higher, anemic, short of breath. Now is this. Tian wang bu xin dan and xue fu zu yu dan. Bu xin, xin is heart. So this comes. To help the weakness of the heart, but the Xue Fu Zhu Yi Tang is help the heart to 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 squeeze out all the blood that do not leave any residue in the chamber, the causing more problem. Maybe some infection in the future. So all this together will definitely help him to breathe better, and uh, with the low uh, heartbeat rate, lower the heart heartbeat rate, and all those conditions are, you know, we don't need to know all the uh, exact symptoms. So, so, so in this case, a rapid hedgecardia or arrhythmia, chin, chin, the, the beat is not regular. That's easy to find out by, by taking a pause. Anybody can do that. But in this case, we might want to do this. Tian Wang Pu Xin Dan and Xue Fu Zhu Yudang. Okay. Any question? Yeah, Dr. Ching, uh, can you compare the use of Tian Wang Bu Xin Dan with uh, Seng Mai San and also Yang Xin Tang, those three formulas? Because okay. you, you sometimes use them interchangeably. That's easy. Okay, Tian Wang Bu Xin Dan for Gu Pulse. Oh, you write or I write? I write. Tian Wang Bu Xin Dan is for Gu, gu Pulse. Uh, the other is Yang, Xin Yang Xin Tang is for emotional disturbance. Emotional disturbance. Like a mood. I sometimes I use them together. How you doing? Ah, Seng Mai San is for the right foot, for the weak, superficial condition, cold in the surface. The right foot is weak, and medicine. I mean, the blood pressure is low, heartbeat rate is low. The pure weakness, semi son. If the uh, patient's demand is that you help him to strengthen their first defense line, the nose and not because I, I catch cold easily. I, I got the flu or cold uh, four times a, a year or something like that. Then you have to strengthen 
the surface condition by using Sun Mai San and the Nga Jiao Yu Ping Feng San. Yu Ping Feng San and Sun Mai San. Okay. This is for respiratory system and for the uh, surface defense. The hard problem we use Taiwan Bu Jindan and Yang Xin Tang. The actual heart. Okay. Yeah. Actually, our heart. It's also the, the mind. My mind, yeah. Okay, so the actual heart, you use Ken Wang Bu Xin Dan more. Yeah. The Xin aspect of the heart, you use Yang Xin Tang. Uh -huh. Okay. So on People thinking too much can confuse the mind, bipolar, uh, crazy cuckoo, oh, whatever. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, everybody has that. <laughs> so but, that, that has to be associated with the heart pulse, right? Yeah. Because the people who think too much might be from the liver, not from yeah. the heart. Yeah, okay. maybe just pure uh, outside surrounding, in fact, uh, the, the influence, not the real organ problem. Mm. So you can judge it by the ear sign. Ear. Uh, no need, no need. I can use the ear here. See, this if you have a cut here, then it's the real organ problem. If it doesn't only have some spot, that's mind problem. So if the earlobe is intact and normal and beautiful, then there's no organ problem. Okay? <laughs>